morning everyone. I hope that you're all well. Today is Thursday the 24th of February and uh, yeah a little studio vlog for you all. Um, it's currently almost 10 a.m. I've been a bit in waiting mode this morning, um, a term that I've learned from TikTok. I don't know if it's an actual term or just a term that people have come up with but um, I have booked in to get my hair done not today, but I need to go in for a quick consultation and uh, to make sure that I'm not allergic to anything because it's been since, I haven't had my hair done since September. So it really does need doing. I'm thinking maybe color will come back. Maybe orange will come back, but then I've actually styled it and quite like it today. So now I don't actually know. It's always the way, isn't it? I have not liked my hair the whole time I've had it done, but now I've actually styled it. I actually quite like it. So maybe I just need to style my hair a bit more. Um, so yeah, that's at 10.45 and it's just round the corner. So um, waiting mode has been engaged and I haven't really done a whole lot this morning yet. Um, it's four weeks until the yarn show. So the only yarn that I have dyed are the Resistances collection yarns. So I'm going to have to do some mammoth yarn dyeing in the next four weeks. I've also got some mammoth stitch marker making to do in the next few weeks and uh, yeah, it's a little bit scary, um, but I'll worry about that in a little bit. Today was meant to be a dyeing day, but now I'm thinking that it might be a stitch marker day today and then I will dye on tomorrow um, and then that can be, that will be recorded for Patreon vlog that will come out on Monday. I'm trying to be organized. Uh, but yes, I've got Critical Role to watch. I'm very behind on keeping up with the Kardashians, so I've got them to watch. And uh, it's a very nice sunny day still. If it's still a sunny day when I need to go to the hairdressers, I might go on a short jaunt. But it says rain is forecast. It says snow is forecast. Oh, now it's not saying snow is forecast. Now it's lying. Oh, it's cold as balls out there, though. And it's meant to be a nice day tomorrow. Perfect. I'll die on tomorrow. That'll be... Wonderful, might even have a chance to hang it outside, who knows. But yeah, I've actually styled my hair today, and, like done something with it instead of washing it and just leaving it. So, but maybe it's, I don't know, I don't know if I like it or not. But I thought it was time for the orange to come back, so. Maybe it is. Once again, it's not happening today, but I just need to make a decision today. Hey folks, so I went to the hairdressers and we established that all I need to do is just put the orange dye over the top of what I already have, so I don't need to have it bleached. Um, and I could technically just do that here, but I may as well go and get it done and get it cut um, and then just put my own dye over the top because it, it needs a haircut. Um, I'm beating little owls at the moment, this is what you're seeing me do. Um, and I'm being joined by a bub. Hello little bub, who has stopped purring now. Is it because I started talking? Is it because I started talking? Anyone else talk to their animals like their babies? Maybe. Oh, you're a beautiful lady though. Um, this is Kimchi that's joined me today and she's sat in my lap. I'm sat cross-legged because I find it easy to bead weave cross-legged. And she's sat in like the tiny crook of my lap. Ow, 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 ow. And she has gone. Oh, thank God. Um, what I was going to say was, sorry, I've just wiggled the table. It's much more difficult to bead weave with a bub on your lap because you have to kind of bead around with a cat. And obviously they then want to attack the thread and everything. Although kimchi's usually pretty good. It's really funny because um, I posted a picture online, I don't know, a, while, a week ago, week and a half ago, about how Mario had kimchi on his lap and I had Misa on my lap and I said like, so I get two cats, you got a bub each. And um, Emma of Make and Fable messaged me and asked if we would then swap after a while. And I said no, because Kimchi would never sit on my lap. And up to that point, it was a rare occasion for her to sit on my lap. Since then, she has sat on my lap like four times a week. Like more, more often, like more rare for her to not sit on my lap at least once a day. It's very strange. I also wake up to either her laying on my legs or laying on like my stomach and then Miso's in the other place. So I usually wake up with two cats on me. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, um, it's very sweet and very warm. It's quite nice at the moment because it's very cold at the moment in the UK, at least in Nottingham. 
Um, we've been having like a plethora of storms. We had Eunice to start with, uh, which brought our fence down. Luckily it's on the neighbor's side though, so we don't have to pay for it. Um, we did offer to split with them and they said, no, don't worry about it, it's on our side. So like, okay. Uh, so we have lost a fence on one side. Um, but we, I also, we also need to get someone out to look at the roof because the roof is leaking. Very annoying, but you know, these things happen. And that was in Nottingham. That wasn't even in where the worst of the storms were. Um, cause they were far worse. London had it pretty bad, I think. And then the Southwest had it quite bad. Um, yeah, it's, it was crazy looking at the videos of everyone and how, who, people were still going out in it. Like who's still going out in a, in a storm? It's cause we always think it's not going to be so bad. And then, uh, it's incredibly windy and people have been like blown over. Like, yeah, it may just be wind, but you know, it was red warning. I don't know. Anyway, um, yes, so I went to the hairdressers and had a chat. And uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to get orange put over the top of it. And I'm excited to have the colour brought back. I think it's time. You know, it's been a really long time. I'm bridesmaid at my friend's wedding in September, so that's six months away. Um, so it has time to fade out and I can always get it dyed out if I need to. But I'll chat to her. I've known, I've known her since um, at secondary school, year seven, so age 12. Um, yeah, I've known her that long. So she, she knows that I've had brightly coloured hair and stuff and she's pretty relaxed so probably won't mind if I have brightly coloured hair but you know don't want to take attention off of the bride obviously um but I thought orange is quite a fun first step and I didn't really have orange hair for that long because I did it in maybe August of 2020 and then I um lost the dye in the move and we moved in October 2020 and then I never bought any more so I haven't had brightly coloured hair since then. So I think it's time to bring it back because a whole host of you uh, who are new to the corner of craft haven't seen me actively posting with somewhat colourful hair and I've just felt like uh, I'm quite normal looking and I don't, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just not what I want. So yes, going orange, very exciting. Uh, she asked, do you want any uh, red in it or any yellow in it? I'm just like, no think I just want just want the orange so that is what we're going to be doing um I'm making good progress through the stitch markers I'm taking with me to East Anglia Young Festival the hope is to get 320 in total made but I don't know if that's going to happen so some of them I might just have to make five of each and like hope it's okay because I like making 10 of each um but they never sell as well in person as they do online and I need to remember that but I have another yarn show in June so it'll be good to have them uh, and make them and just have like a, a stock of them as it were and then yeah but yeah they never sell as well as they do in person so that's it's quite frustrating but such is life I also went and bought birthday cards for my first cousin once removed um it's going to be their second birthday soon and it's Mario's birthday next week so yeah Need to think of something to get him. I've already got him a couple of bits on the way, but I need to get a couple more bits, I think. And yes. So all of the Resistances collection parcels have been sent out except for one. Um, and that is because I miscalculated or I don't know. I, I either posted something wrong or I miscalculated, but I'm one mini skein set short, which is quite annoying. But at the same time, it's fine because I needed to dye some up for East Anglia anyway. So I need to dye them up tomorrow, get them done, get them on the drying rack, get them drying, and then I can ship that next week. But it's quite a large order and it's combining quite a few different orders and um, I've let her know she doesn't mind waiting. But um, other than that, all of your orders have been sent. All of the pre-orders have been sent. Um, which is very exciting. So you should have a notification through about that. And uh, yeah, surprised by the amount of people that chose tracked posted, very grateful, obviously, because um, it gives everyone peace of mind. Because in the UK, you don't get a tracking number 
unless you pay for tracked postage and it's just sent out and then I don't know where it is uh, for international in for domestic it's different but international uh, you don't get a tracking number and I very often get um emails from people saying do you have a tracking number can you tell me where it is blah blah I'm like I can't sorry about that um which is well for the option of tracked postage um but yes I'm very excited to have them all shipped out and all on their way to you and all going to you and I cannot wait to see what you make with them oh my goodness um I've decided that the next Knit Carol Yarn Club, the one for March, is going to be inspired by Imogen. Um, that will go on sale on the 1st of March at 4pm, because the club always goes on sale at 4pm GMT on the 1st of March. Or 4pm UK time, I should say. On the 1st of the, first of the month. Um, and it was originally going to be called Everyone, Everything is Just So Much. Um, but then someone said you're gonna call this one Maud, right? I'm like, yeah, I might, I might have to actually call it Maud. And if you haven't watched the latest two episodes of Critical Role, then you won't understand the reference. But I find it very difficult to remember any significant quotes from Critical Role, so I need to start writing them down as I'm watching it. Um, but Campaign One just sticks in my head so well. Oh, who's watched Legends of Vox Machina? It's so good. I've got one episode to go. Might watch it tonight with Mario before he gets to bed because he gets an early night. And then I'll probably edit this. Um, it's really good. It's reminded me how much I miss Vox Machina. And, like, Campaign 1 was just such a, a darker storyline and I really enjoyed it. Um, campaign 2 was good. It was nice. But, like, it hasn't stuck in my head in the same way that Campaign 1 has. Campaign 1, I can be like, oh yeah, this happened, this happened, this happened, blah, blah. But Campaign 2, I'm just like, oh yeah, they had Travelocon that time. The thing with the hag was cool. Yetis existed. Eyes of Nine were a thing. I don't know, it just didn't stick in my head as much. So, I don't know, maybe I just need to re-listen to it more. But, um, yes. Right, I'm going to get on with some more bead weaving and I'll chat to you in a little bit. Toodles. I don't know if you can see but it's actually snowing slightly. You can't see. You can't see at all. Mm. Behold a broken fence. It's just there. But um, I stood up because I had to show you and I'm very stretchy in the legs now. But I haven't had a tea yet today, so uh, let's go make a cup of tea. I think just a Yorkshire tea biscuit brew is what I'm in the mood for. I don't know what that was. form of weather today. We've had rain, we've had snow, we've had hail, we've had sleet and now it's sunny. The clip of the snow was just before I made a tea. My tea is now finished. That was what? Maximum five minutes. Snow has stopped, now it's sunny. This is why in the UK we talk about the weather so much because it changes so much so quickly. Makes no sense. So, I totally forgot. It's actually the bub's birthday next week. We think. I mean, we don't know. Um, we rescued the bubs and they'd been abandoned in a cardboard box and a tip. Um, and they're about two months old. And we adopted them when they were four months old. Um, so we worked out that the birthday was in March. And we, so we just said March the 1st for ease. Um, so yeah. Need to get them some little bits, some little, some little presents. They won't care at all. And it's pancake day. 
some little bub pancakes. Won't, won't be doing that, won't be feeding the bubs pancakes. Um, yeah, they need to be need to be put on a diet. They're a bit chunky. We were accidentally overfeeding them. That's okay though. Um, but yeah, we, we noticed it. I mean, we knew they were getting chunky anyway, but we noticed that actually we were overfeeding them uh, a few weeks ago. So they've been on a new eating plan recently. And uh, yeah, hopefully it will take effect at some point. But anyway, um, yeah, so the bubs are going to be turning one. How cute. <laughs> hey, folks. I feel like I've sat in this chair for most of the day. Um, so, beading stuff has been put away. Concentration is waning. I can only concentrate on bead weaving for, like, short bursts at a time. It's very annoying. I wish I could just, like, motor through like a can with yarn dyeing. But I can't with stitch markers because then I start making stupid mistakes and breaking beads and it's a whole thing. Uh, but Mario will hopefully be home soon because he needs to come home soon because he's got to go to bed soon-ish. Um, life of the self-employed, mate. You're always working. Uh, so I just thought I'd do a little bit of knitting on my slice of light shawl because I'm still going on it. But we're on to the cast off. So I'm doing the I-cord I -cord edge along the top edge at the moment uh, using poison resistance. It's very nice. Why does the wrong side look better than the right side? How annoying. It does though. Anyway, by the by. So um, yeah, I'm just doing doing that and it takes ages. So you do the top edge first in uh, your contrast colour and then you use your main colour, I guess, the pink for me, to do the bottom edge. So that'll be fun. Um, but yeah. We're on the home straight, which is exciting because I need to record the podcast on Monday. And this is really the only thing, other than my D&D &D socks, that I've been knitting. Um, so I don't have... It would be nice to have at least one thing finished so I actually have something to talk about. Otherwise, I'm not going to have a whole host to talk about. Um, but yes. The bubs are snuggling in their little basket together. It's very sweet. We keep saying we should get them a second basket as a birthday present, but I don't even know if they'd sleep in their separate baskets because I think they like to snuggle for warmth and kimchi is cleaning miso and it's all very sweet but I am going to love you and leave you right there thank you so so much for watching I truly hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe uh, leave me a comment down below the vloggy check-in we love to see it let me know what you have been up to since I last spoke to you um I hope that your property or any you hasn't been damaged from any of the storms that we've been having if you have also been experiencing storms I know it's starting to go across Europe we have another one on the way um as well it's crazy crazy amount of storms in such a short space of time and uh yes I think that's it uh, give the video a thumbs up subscribe I post one video a week feel free to join my patreon become a member of the biscuit brew crew that would be lovely uh, thank you to all of you who have done that already you get an extra video once a week uh, so you get two videos a week instead of the one and um, yes I think that's everything thank you so so much for watching I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you very soon in my next video bye I said video a lot in that last sentence